Hey everyone, I appreciate you following along on this project in my shop. I would love some feedback, some advice. Make sure to drop some comments down below. Right now I'm cutting out some thin aluminum sheet stock. This is going to be a template that's used as the beginnings for crafting a violin. I think it's important to note that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, so we're going to be learning together. This pattern was lifted from a set of full-size drawings in Henry A. Strobel's book, Violin Making, which is my main learning resource for this project. After the pattern was rough cut, I used files to shape it to its final scribe line. I'm setting up a pair of parallels with a scrap piece of wood on top to get above the vise and provide me with a zero clearance hole. I'm drilling three millimeter holes that will be used on the mold to mark further shaping that needs to be done. There's also two holes that will be drilled on those tabs in the middle of the template that will be used for aligning the template to the mold throughout the whole process. These pinholes are for marking the graduations when we shape the back plate. I also center punched all of these holes as I marked out the template to make the drilling as easy as possible. I'm using tape to hold down the pattern onto this half inch piece of plywood that'll become the mold. And then I'm gonna drill the alignment holes that'll allow me to put the pattern back onto the mold in the same place every time. As I finish tracing this half pattern with a pencil, I have those drill bits in the alignment holes that I'll take out, flip the pattern over, place the pins back in, and trace the other side. Strobel created this pattern from an old Strad model violin, and he noted that the violin that he made it from was not in symmetry. The wood had changed shape over the years. Using this half pattern, we're going to create a symmetric mold, but of course it's always up to the luthier, the violin maker, the artist, to use your touch, your feel, and your eye to come to the final shape of the instrument. Here at the bandsaw, we're cutting just as close as we can get to that pencil line without touching it. The bandsaw helps get the rough cut done really fast and easy. After that, I took the mold over to the oscillating spindle sander, got it closer, and then used hand files to get to the finished shape. placing the half pattern back onto the mold and I'm going to mark the holes that will help clamp the corner blocks onto the mold. We're going to drill these out with the three quarter inch Forstner bit at the drill press. I want to point out my drilling surface at the drill press. I'm using again a scrap piece of wood clamped in a vise and that's so that when I drill through with the Forstner bit I'll get a zero clearance hole. Otherwise 
I would probably drill partway through this hole until the pilot came out the back, flip the piece around, and drill from the back so that you get a clean hole on both sides. 